Hey guys, do you want to know about top 5 most expensive hobbies in the world? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about top 5 most expensive hobbies in the world. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Before we get started, please make sure you watch the video until the end, so you can find top 5 most expensive hobbies in the world and also subscribe with the notification bell turned on so you can get notified anytime we upload a new video. Do you have a hobby that you love? Whether it's collecting art, going yachting, or skiing in the Alps, there's no doubt that hobbies can be expensive. In this video, we will take a look at some of the most expensive hobbies in the world. We'll discuss what makes them so costly and how much money people can expect to spend on them. If you're looking for an expensive pastime and unique experiences to indulge in, you'll want to watch this video. How much do people spend on their hobbies? The amount of money that people spend on their hobbies varies widely. According to a survey by Statistic Brain, the average person spends $200 per month on their hobbies. However, this number doesn't take into account people who have expensive hobbies like yachting or skiing. For these types of activities, the cost can be much higher. In fact, some people spend hundreds of thousands of dollars per year on their hobbies and learning new skills. The most expensive hobbies. Whether it's ballroom dancing, trap shooting, wine collecting, or yachting, some hobbies are just more expensive than others. But what makes a hobby expensive? In most cases, it's the cost of the equipment or gear that you need to participate in the hobby. For example, if you want to go yachting, you'll need to purchase or rent a yacht, which can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Similarly, if you want to take up skiing, you'll need to buy a ski pass, equipment, and clothing, which can also add up. Of course, the cost of a hobby is relative. What may be expensive for one person may not be for another. Someone who loves art may already have a collection of paintings that they've amassed over the years. To them, Buying a new painting for their collection may not be that expensive. However, someone who doesn't have any art in their home may find the cost of purchasing a painting to be quite high. Number 5. Playing Polo Polo is often called the sport of kings, and it's not hard to see why. It is one of the oldest team sports in the world, dating back to ancient Persia, and it has long been associated with luxury and wealth. Today, Polo remains one of the most exclusive sports, with high-end equipment and facilities that can cost millions of dollars. And yet, despite the barriers to entry, the popularity of learning how to play polo has only grown in recent years. In many ways, the sport is the perfect blend of athleticism and strategy, requiring players to master horsemanship while also making split-second decisions on the field. For those who have the means to pursue it, Polo can be an incredibly rewarding experience. Number 4. Scuba Diving Scuba diving is one of the most popular hobbies in the world, but it is also one of the most expensive. The cost of scuba diving gear can easily exceed $1,000, and the price of scuba diving lessons can also be quite high. In addition, scuba diving trips can be quite expensive, as you have to factor in travel costs to remote locations. As a result, scuba diving is typically a hobby that is reserved for those with a significant amount of disposable income. However, for those who are able to afford it, scuba diving can be an incredibly rewarding experience. There is nothing quite like exploring the underwater world, and scuba diving provides a unique opportunity to see things that most people will never get to see. Number 3. Yachting Another expensive hobby is yachting. This pastime typically requires a large boat, as well as a crew to maintain it. The average cost of buying and operating a yacht can easily reach into the millions of dollars. But for those who love the sea, there is nothing quite like the experience of cruising on your own yacht. The wind in your hair, the sun on your face, and the waves crashing against the hull. It's an exhilarating feeling. Yachting also provides a unique opportunity to see the world from a different perspective. When you're on a yacht, you can explore remote coves and deserted islands that are inaccessible by land. Yachting is a popular hobby among the wealthy because it allows them to travel in luxury and style. Many people who own yachts also enjoy taking part in yacht racing, which can be another significant expense. Number 2. Skydiving There's nothing quite like the feeling of jumping out of a plane and free-falling through the air. 
Of course, skydiving is also a pricey hobby. A typical jump can cost anywhere from $200 to $300, and that's not including the cost of equipment rentals or lessons. The most expensive type of skydiving is wingsuiting. The skydiver wears a webbing sleeve jumpsuit known as a wingsuit which optimizes lift. This extreme sport allows you to enjoy the sensation of gliding, rather than simply free falling. A wingsuit costs around $1,200. If you're looking for an adrenaline-pumping activity, skydiving might be just the thing for you. Just be sure to do your research and choose a reputable company to jump with. You want to make sure you have a safe and memorable experience. Number 1. Downhill Skiing Depending on where you go, skiing can be a fun and relatively inexpensive way to enjoy the outdoors. However, if you want to ski in North America, you'll need to be prepared to spend a significant amount of money. A one-day pass at Vail is a hopping $220. While a day pass for skiing in the Alps is cheaper, you'll need to factor in the airfare or train ride to get there. To get more bang for your buck, avoid the most luxurious ski resorts and choose somewhere lesser known. Wherever you choose to stay, downhill skiing is an exhilarating experience. The Epra ski can be a lot of fun too. Make sure you stay watching our next related video to discover more amazing videos. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comments box below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.